You guys, Christmas is just around the corner. In fact, today is Christmas Eve. Eve, what do you think is the best gift you could receive this year? Hi, it's Emily, and this is Unlocked, your daily key to opening up your heart to God. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to read one of our scriptures before the devotion. You with me? Cool. Psalm 98, 8 through 9. Let the rivers clap their hands in glee. Let the hills sing out their songs of joy before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with justice and the nations with fairness. All right, so now that I've read the scripture, we're going to jump into our devotion. It's called Prepare Him Room, and it was written by Melissa Yeagle. Pop quiz! What famous Christmas carol was based on today's scripture reading? If you guessed Joy to the World, you're right. This psalm talks about looking forward to Jesus' return. When he comes to judge the earth in righteousness, bringing justice for every wrong done and destroying sin and its effects. Okay, here's your second pop quiz. Can you sing the first line of Joy to the World without looking at the words? Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. In fact, this Christmas carol was originally written about Jesus' return, or second coming, rather than his birth. Both Jesus' birth and his return are cause for rejoicing and singing. When Jesus came as a baby, he created a way for us to be freed from sin and death so that we could be with God forever. This is because Jesus came to earth the first time to die on the cross for our sins. If we put our trust in what he did, we are freed from sin and death. Jesus' second coming is when he returns to dwell with his people forever. But the second line of this carol is just as important as the first. Let every heart prepare him room. Born that night in Bethlehem, Jesus came to prepare the hearts of his people to be in relationship with him. Without Christ, our hearts long for the wrong things, going after sin instead of the God we were made to serve. This Christmas, if you haven't already, Consider the Savior who offers to free every part of you, including your heart, from sin and death. Put your trust in the forgiveness he offers you through his death and resurrection. All right, let's talk about this. How does Jesus' death and resurrection make it possible for us to be free from sin and death? Why is his return so important? If you know Jesus, what are some ways he is freeing your heart from sin even now through the power of the Holy Spirit? Read 2 Corinthians 3, 17 through 18 for the answer to that question. And while you're at it, check out Psalm 98 as well. If you're listening on the Unlocked app, we make it really easy. There's a button you push just under the story that will take you right to that verse. Like I said, so easy. Hey, thanks for listening. Until next time, I'm Emily, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life. Unlocked is a production of Keys for Kids Ministries.